Hello, today we will talk about Lagrange duality in comparison of uh, nonlinear programming versus conic programming. In nonlinear programming, Lagrangian is the sum of objective function plus Lagrange multipliers uh, multiplied by constraints. In vector form, if we take uh, all constraints as a vector function, it will look like uh, y transpose g of x. In similar way, for, sim uh, for, co uh, for conic programming, uh, we have objective function minus inner product of Lagrangian with so-called constraints. Uh, Minus because uh, our constraint is greater or equal to zero, in contrast to nonlinear programming, where con a convenient way is to say that uh, constraints are less or equal to zero. Important property of uh, the Lagrangian is when we maximize it over feasible y, we get uh, ideal barrier aggregate with respect to x, uh, namely, if x is feasible, the maximum over y is just f of x, and if x is not feasible, the maximum is infinity. How can we see it? Uh, if x is feasible, all constraints are less or equal to zero, and y uh, elements of y are non-negative, then all uh, every component <coughs> in y g y i g i is uh, non-positive. So if we want to maximize it uh, with respect to i, the maximum will be zero, and it can be easily achieved just choosing y e e equal to zero. So the only part will remain which doesn't depend on, on y f of x. Uh, if uh, any of constraints uh, is vi violated, then uh, uh, meaning some of cons some co constraint is greater than zero, we can choose the corresponding multiplier positive and as, as large as we want, and suppose other multipliers we can put to zero, it means that uh, increasing it we can uh, achieve uh, uh, as large number as we want, mean the maximum is infinity. And this is uh, ideal barrier aggregate, or ideal penalty ag ag aggregate, it has very nice property, we, when we will then minimize over x, we will we can obtain our uh, solution of the original problem. <coughs> what, with, uh, what will happen uh, uh, with conic programming? First of all, uh, we, like we told, we have Lagrangian. Let's see what happens if we maximize Lagrangian over feasible multipliers. Feasible multipliers are vectors belonging to uh, dual con. K, K star. Uh, and the claim is very similar. If X is feasible, then maximum will be F of X, and if X is infeasible, the maximum will be infinity. How can we see it? Uh, suppose that X is feasible. Uh, y belongs to dual con, and for feasible x, constraints are satisfied, mean a x minus b uh, belong to primal con. By definition of dual con, uh, we know that inner product of vectors from dual con is uh, non-negative with ve inner products of vectors of, with, of dual con with vectors of primal con are non-negative. So this expression is greater or equal to zero, and we subtract it, we, we have minus here. 
uh, this says that this with minus is negative and maximal value can be achieved just for example when y is 0 so the maximum will be f of x <coughs> on contrary if ax minus b doesn't belong to the primal con mean x is infeasible then there will exist uh, a vector y from dual con such that this vector, uh, this uh, inner product is negative and if uh, this inner product is negative then with minus this term will be positive and we can multiply this y by any constant it still will by property of con it will remain in the dual con and uh, get this term with minus as large as possible that's why uh, infinity here Okay, again, I will summarize here what we already told. Uh, we got to a conclusion that uh, maximal, maximum over y of Lagrangian is uh, ideal barrier aggregate. It means that if we will minimize this function over x, we should get a solution to our problem and the value would be optimal value of objective function optimal solution of the original problem okay and uh, we know minimax theorem which uh, tells that if we swap uh, order of max and mean uh, namely we take max over y mean over x of uh, any function then we only will decrease the uh, resulting value. So it, it means that the uh, max mean of Lagrangian is less or equal to optimal value of the uh, primal problem and this is the weak duality theorem and uh, this function is uh, denoted as eta of uh, y and the dual problem is just uh, maximize uh, sorry uh, maximize over feasible y over y greater or equal to, to zero uh, this dual function eta of y let's try to do something similar in uh, conic programming so we already had uh, this nice uh, ideal barrier property again when we minimize uh, this function which is ideal barrier uh, over x we get solution of our original problem and uh, when we swap order of max and mean uh, we get something which is less or equal optimum value and uh, this is the uh, weak duality property and uh, we will call this as our dual function Eta of y and our dual problem will be dual problem Uh, maximize maximize over y belonging to dual con a star zero uh, eta of y uh, the thing which remains to try to derive expression for the eta of y it's uh, we should uh, look what is minimizer over x of this expression taking into account that f of x is uh, linear okay so our goal to find dual function is to minimize this expression 
over x. So we, we will write shortly, skipping the second argument of Lagrangian. We like to minimize this expression over x. And for this we will uh, compute its gradient and equate it to zero. Gradient of first part is trivial. Let's concentrate on gradient of the second part, which we'll, we'll call it h of x. As usually, to find gradient, we uh, find differential of h given differential of, of x. So, this linear expression, its differential is just a calligraphic multiplied by d, dx, and the remaining uh, part uh, stay as it was. We can, uh, our goal is to, uh, to get dx alone in the inner product. So we just move uh, uh, operator on the other part of inner product using its conjugate, uh, adjoint, sorry. It's by definition of adjoint operator. So we have dh, it's something, inner product with dx, that we know by definition of gradient, something is gradient of h. So gradient of h is just a adjoint multiplied by y. And gradient of whole Lagrangian with respect to x is c minus a adjoint y, and we should equate it to, to zero. Let's. <coughs> it's uh, in, interesting. This, this is linear function of x. So when gradient uh, is uh, equal to zero, the function value doesn't depend on x, and we just uh, need to find it. We substitute. Uh, we should uh, rewrite a bit expression for Lagrangian uh, in this way. We, we, we have here, we, we can open this inner product as y inner product with ax plus y inner product with b. And y inner product with ax, we can again move uh, uh, ax to the left side of inner product using adjoint and y inner product with b will remain as it, it, it was and we can uh, recognize here a similar expression so we, we can put all this, uh, those two terms together and see that this is just uh, c minus a adjoint y and all this inner product with x, uh, but our condition of uh, zero gradient is exactly this being zero. So we, can, we conclude that all this is equal to zero, and uh, we remain that uh, L uh, optimal is just uh, inner product of y with b. Uh, so, in summary, when uh, this equality is satisfied, the value of minimizer will be just y, uh, inner product of y with b, and this is our dual function. So, dual function is y inner product with b when a adjoint y is equal to c, and if this equality is not satisfied, uh, this linear function will have some slope, non-zero non slope, and uh, minimization of over x uh, will bring us to mini, uh, minus infinity. So this uh, minus infinity otherwise. So, uh, I should remind you that we, uh, we want to maximize uh, this dual function in order to obtain lower bound for our optimal solution, or maybe optimal uh, value itself when uh, uh, duality is strong. So, what will be maximum over y of this function? Uh, of course, some uh, uh, finite value, larger than minus infinity, 
will be achieved only if this constraint is satisfied. Otherwise, uh, it will be minus infinity, which is smaller than other values. That's why we get the following dual problem. We should uh, maximize over uh, y belonging to dual con in a product of y with b, subject to constraint a adjoint y is equal to c.